Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 14 of my let's play of Amayui Castle Meister. And yesterday we left off about to watch this cutscene with Mikayu. Alright, these guys are at work and they're actually taking a break. Mikayu was trying to study and... Let's just say the short version of the beginning of this conversation goes, Stop molesting me. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> oh, now it's the ears rather than the tail. Yeah, Fia said that Mikio doesn't lose anything by this, but Mikio objects that she's losing her innocence. いや、さんがもっとしっかりしないとアバロさんが困ることになるんですよ。ち、ち、ち。そんな困難をアバロと一緒に乗り越えてこそ強固な絆が結ばれるんだよ。はあ。でもアバロさんも困難を引き起こした
Because Fia's eyes are scary. Of course she sounds seriously. She is serious. But she's also mad at Avaro. What? She's mad because Avaro's petting Mikeo, but she, but he isn't petting Fia. Here's another piece of Fia logic. Avaro's hands exist for the purpose of petting her on the head. That's not an overstatement. There, there. You're a good girl, too. <laughs> so, how is she a good girl? Look, don't go fishing for compliments. Hey, uh, let's see. You're so lively and energetic and noisy and cause a commotion all the time. And further, you're just stupidly cheery. And she's willing to take that as a compliment. Yeah, Fia always seems happy. And she tells her her secret to not worry about things too deeply. Sounds kind of hard, actually. Yeah, Alvaro agrees. He'd never be able to do this. To act like that all the time. Alright, back to something that will actually move the plot forward. About Eel, she is probably also looking for work. So, Mikeo would like to take the, see if she can find an opportunity to introduce Eel to these two and have her working here too. Yeah, is uh, down with it. I bet she just wants another girl to molest. Okay. But Avaro's got a, his head on his shoulders, so we're going to see what she's capable of before we hire her. So, let's move those arrangements forward and get back to work. Oh, oops. We used up the whole break and Mikeo didn't get to study. But she's happy because she gets to bring Eo along. Now... Oh yes, now I can build this. This is new. Tower shield. Oh, I've got a lot of things coming to me now. Now I can build one of these three. Because I don't have enough stone to build all three. I'd like to point out that they have different formations attached to them. This one has the penetrating formation, the pear formation, and the line formation. I'll probably go with this one. Who knows when the next time I'll be able to yes. build things is. Build any more of those buildings anyway. No, and looks like I've got a bunch of box formations ready. Ooh. Lots of trees. Yes. The most useful are the blue trees, because I go through health potions like nothing else. Hmm. 
Yes. All right, I completed a plot item and a couple of other items that yes. have scenes, so let's watch some scenes. All right, this is attached to the magic training facility we made. It's the plot item. So, Mikio can use this place to train in magic. And now, did Devar make it just for her? Not quite. Well, that is also a factor in his decision to make it. He also has research and experiments that this will be useful for as well. Because it dampens magic effects, you can really go out and not, I don't know, blow up the castle or anything. So, why don't you give it a try? Come on now, don't hold back. If you do, it won't even be true. If you hold back during training, it's not very good training. That's her apologizing for going overboard and probably hurting Avara. But everything seems fun. And like Avara said, it absorbs a certain amount of her magic power so she can really go wild out. Now she's really gonna go for it. Now she's kind of getting the hang of this. Because before now, she had always been afraid of going all out for... and then failing. She's actually found out that going all out makes it a bit easier to control. Now, I should mention... I never pulled this up. This is her untrained skill. Notice this isn't a skill you can un unequip. So, now she gets to train in this magic facility. And she has just lost that skill. Which is good. All they did was subtract two magic attack and one speed from her. So she is that much more valuable now. Uh, next one. We built a park. Hey! <laughs> and now we've got people visiting the castle just to play in the park. And... As well, we have old ladies apparently coming up to sit around on the benches. Isn't this thing like 300 feet in the air? They have to climb like a million steps just to sit down? Would they really do that? Uh, anyway, you can tell this sprite is somewhat recycled from our... from the old woman in the Beastman Valley. But anyway. All right, so we're improving the 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 impression of the Guadalcuna Castle by having these people come and visit, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Honestly, I don't know why that scene is even in here, but I built a bunch of stuff, so let's start placing it.
Hmm. Ah, yes. So I can complete another box formation. And now we've got two of them. And as you can see, the bonus has doubled. Now six is pretty substantial. Even if it is just HP. Oh, that's right. I turned that off in order to try and get more magic ore earlier. But we want to keep it around. This is the magic facility. And it really doesn't do much. It adds one to your uh, control points. Not control points. I'd say command points, perhaps. And it, anytime you use SP regaining items or abilities, it'll add 10% to the regain. So pretty much useless. Have I, ne have I never shown you guys this entire castle? It goes all the way up here. Anyway. I don't need to set that, so I'm going to set down more fruit trees. I just can't get enough of these. Is there anything else? Now, this will provide me with Earth every three turns, which is good because I'm almost always out of that. No, oh, under the tree. All right, that's all the seed trees and the Earth uh, gatherer. It just says it's a fertile earth garden, but whatever. And that'll do for that. So, let's see what we want to do next. We have a new recipe. Lightning, no. Rainbow colored grass. Haven't seen it, probably won't see it for a while. I'd like to make some of these. Because when you take it apart, you get ice shards for upgrading, and I need those for various things. But the plot item I need to get after is the crystal that will let me see the ghosts that are haunting the castle. For this, I need blue magic ore. Yes, Sugida. Well, we're in luck that map where we met where Mikao showed us her stuff will let us get some of that. You remember I told you in the... In the introduction... No. In the last video. That... There's a special condition where you can get a bonus here for defeating 20 enemies. It'll take a little while. In fact, it'll take us to turn 8, just killing stuff non-stop. But we can get it before the, we leave here today. That's odd. Usually Avaro can kill a bat in one round. Like so. Now that Mikiu has gotten out of her untrained status, she's actually got a pretty good chance of taking down the lightning butterflies. 
and will almost always kill bats. Oh, you think you can do damage to my tank? Take this! And these mining points are where we're going to end up picking up those blue magic stream, blue magic ores we were looking for. Oh yeah, I bet you're wondering why I haven't tried going south. See this door? It's not like the other doors we've seen so far. Because in addition to the unlocking skill, you need the blue copper key to get through it. I don't have one, so there's really no point. But still, we need to come to this map. I think we need to do that ghost thing before finishing the game. There. Before moving on to the next plot point. Alright, so now that it's turn 8, we've gotten 20 enemies to come out of these pools, so we can seal them up and get the hell out. Bonus. This is a warrior's proof. Or perhaps a warrior's document. It didn't give us the blue magic ore we needed. Blue magic string. Ha. Uh, okay. Ooh, what's this? Let's click on it. So, we knew it was an eventuality. The castle has been infiltrated. Gee, it seems like just yesterday, Mikio was talking about getting another friend. 
But this isn't a friend, this is an enemy. And Mikio just stumbles on in and it says to Ovaro that there was something she wanted to ask. Oh crap! Mikio, get out of here, it's dangerous. Mikio. Yeah? Mikio. Yeah? Yep, you just heard what you thought you heard. Oh, Yura! Yep, this is our new party member. Sort of. Ooh, creepy music. Yeah, Mikio puts her sword away right quick. Rather like she didn't want Mikio to see her fight. Mikio's confused because she didn't think today was the day Io was going to audition for the job. In fact, she kind of doesn't remember telling her where to find the castle. And Eel's all freezing up. I wonder what she's worried about. So, do these two know each other? More than know her, she's a family. Uh, yeah? Alright, this is a good opportunity, so let's introduce each other. This is the girl that she lives with. This is Eon, huh? Yep, she just kinda space she kinda spaces out a lot, so she makes you worry about for her, don't doesn't she? Uh yeah. Actually, Avaro has not really worried about her at all. <laughs> and... Fia decides to run up and crush her to death. Bear hug! Now, she did say that she's seeing Eel again. And that is true in certain ways of playing the game, but you can play the game such that Fio and Eol never actually meet until the now. And I can't help but wonder if the cutscene would be a little different. But probably she would still bear hug her and fall down on top of her. So... Yeah, Fia knows Eel. One time she came by him to play. I've always got to say, if that's playing, he'd rather not play again. For the rest of his life. Eel wakes up again. And has a and has a question for Mikeu. So, this is the place she works? Yep, this is the place. Was Eo... Did Eo get worried about her and come to visit? Well, Eo says she's always worried about me, Kayu. <clears throat> but, does she like this place? Yeah, she really does like it here. She's worked in lots of places, but this is the best. And for this reason, she's wanted to introduce Eo and get her working here, too. Okay. 
So he all apologizes to Mikeo. Because today she's going to be out late. So apparently Mikeo likes this place more than the other places she's worked in spite of the fact that she's constantly being molested. I wonder what kind of places those were before. Mikael's a bit worried because Eo really didn't have to apologize or anything. So, has Avaro met Eo before? Yep, actually we have. And that's a review of the story in his head. But he's not going to tell her the Mikael the whole story right now. Alright then, let's get back to work. She has to earn her pay so she can go cook for... So she can go prepare dinner for real. Yeah, Mikayu, are you alright with this? What? Never mind. <clears throat> so that's how that works. Apparently, Mikayu just doesn't know about Eel's occupation, let's say. Ah, now feels lonely because Eo had left. And wants to play with Mikayu. So, Mikayu gets to tell Thea to pull herself together. It's funny, Mikayu is just a kid and she likes to act like an adult, but when compared to Thea, she actually is. And now it's back to grabbing her tail. So, everything's back to normal. With the exception of one thing that's changed. So, I think I'll call that that for today. As soon as we leave the castle again, there will be another scene, but we'll leave that for next time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.